Hello everyone, welcome. So today we are going to see how to install CodeBlocks Code Editor for Windows 7 32-bit PC. So first of all, what you need is a well-updated Chrome version. Here in URL, type CodeBlocks Windows 7 32-bit. Once I have typed, this search will appear. Click on this first search, Binary Releases Code Blocks. Once you click on it, you will land on this kind of page. Here you can see we get uh, this option code blocks 2030 mgw setup.exe. You have to click on this FOSA option. This. So once you click it, there will be another page open. Here you have to select 32 bit including 32 bit compiler. Code blocks Windows 32 bit including 32 bit compiler that is of 160 MB. You need to download this file. Since I have downloaded, I will not download now and I will show how to install it and what changes you have to make so it, so it can run on your 32 bit Windows 7 PC. So here you can see this code blocks file downloaded. Let's install it. Double click on it and it will ask for the options. Click on yes. Then next, I agree. No need to select any of these options. Just click on next. And see, this is the destination of the folder that is program files code blocks. So install here. It will take time and I will meet you after the installation. So here you can see the process is on the verge of completion. Right now it, it is asking us for running the code blocks. So click on yes and select the next option and select this finish option. So now the code blocks is here. You can see code blocks is installed. Now I can click here. So you can see this kind of interface code blocks now you need to do you need to start from here take new empty file and type your code here i will type a basic code to show you one example that is printf that is hello So here I have typed in program. Now let's save this file. I'll save this file in C language. Name is hello.c. You need to add the extension called .c. I'm saving it. As it is saved, let's try to run. C. Hello is executed. If you find any difficulty in execution, then some specific steps are there. So let's check out here you need to go in things then compiler and then go in tool chain executables here you can see the path whatever the path mentioned here you need to add in your computer and then your program will run that is in c compiler you have to add gcc.exe then let, let me zoom it in C compiler, you need to add gcc.exe. Then in C++ compiler, you need to add g++.exe. Then in linker for dynamic libraries, g++.exe. So you can copy everything that is seen or visible here. Once you do it, then click on OK. You will find your program is compiling and running successfully.